Okay, so the first look is a nice, simple, everyday dress worn by women all over the 1950s. They were fun, easy to go in, and really comfortable for women to wear. Watches were really popular in the 1950s. Women often carried handkerchiefs with them everywhere they went, so they tucked them in their watches. Hats were also really popular, and women wore them everywhere that they went. This outfit was actually worn by my grandma when she was dating my grandpa in the 50s. This is another simple, everyday outfit. In the 50s, it was really common for women to wear gloves and make them proper and poised. It was also very common for hats to have veils. This is a fancier look from the early 50s. This is something that a woman would wear to church, or to dance, or an evening party, anywhere that she would want to dress up. Women were always expected to wear their gloves and hats in church. This look is more for older women, sort of business-like. This is another fancier, elegant look. My grandma used to wear this outfit all the time. She said it was really comfortable. This look could also be worn to church or to evening parties. These were my great grandma's gloves. She always wore them to church. My grandma bought this jacket in 1957. She was only making 88 cents an hour. She bought this dress for $60. It was a really big deal. The green dress under the jacket was worn by my grandma to my aunt Elvina's wedding. This is a Jacqueline Kennedy hat. They were really popular in the late 50s. This is a really expensive, elegant look. Of course, the poodle skirts were really popular for teenage girls in the 50s. They were fun and roomy and plenty of room to dance around in. Dancing, music, car, the burger, fries, and the shake were all a teenager needed then. Ankle-high white socks were really common then. The first felt poodle skirts were plagued with poodles, hence their name. Later on, they were decorated with different designs. This is a genuine set of 50s jewelry. My grandma got them in 1956. If a woman had good jewelry, it shows society that her husband is doing a good job at keeping their household. Pearls were super popular in the 1950s. Everyone had watches at this time. They wore them everywhere. Women always had handkerchiefs, and they tucked them in the back of their watches. Maurice L. Rothschild, John W. Thomas, and Dayton's were all really popular brands. This is another Jacqueline Kennedy hat. This one was my grandma's favorite. This purse is from the early 1950s. My grandma's aunt made it for her. Women always carry purses. These purses were brought to weddings and parties and church. Women dressed in the 50s. Good grooming and tailored look were prized. Acting and looking every inch the lady was taught virtually from the cradle and wearing a dress was a given.